How to draw eyes blinking. How to draw. How to draw eyes blinking. Animated. First draw an oval that is shaped like an eye. Like an eye shaped oval. Copy it. You can draw an oval oh, inside or not. But I'm just going to use the curve to make the eye. Gonna fill in that blue area. You could have copied it earlier, or here's what I would suggest. I would suggest just finishing one whole eye and then copying it. You can flip it too. Using the flip button on paint. But it has to be selected when you click the flip button, I think. I have an eyelash. Once you have all that done, like I said earlier, just copy it. I didn't flip it. You don't have to. Choose a skin color and fill it in. And then begin drawing the mouth, not the nose. Zoom in. Some people will just draw the curve by themselves, but I'm going to use the curvy line. Curve it any way you like. And draw on the lips. That's the eyes out the corner. The bottom is messed up, so I'm just going to fix that. So you can just make a rectangle. Um, that doesn't have any black on it. And see, now you can just fix that up, fix that up. But my mouth is out of place, and that looks weird. And I know, uh, I forgot to add the corners, but it's still gonna look good, I think. Just gonna color it pink. And don't draw the nose yet, because that's what we're gonna do in GIMP to make it look 3D. Go to the Select All option. Go to File, Create, and then co copy from clip. I mean, paste from clipboard or from clipboard or whatever it says. Create clipboard. Um, 
then you can join your noses. No, I'm not drawing a ton of noses. I'm just practicing, and then I'll go to undo. I adjusted the rate and pressure. Trying to find the perfect nose here. Okay, this one looks good, and I have a nostril already. And then let's add on some white to the nose. And now begin smudging it. But if you smudge all over it, look at what's going to happen. Okay, so now just smudge the nose. Not the nostril that is showing. But make sure that you get the right shape of the nose. Try not to make the color too close to the nostril. Just gonna re smudge that. Oops, not re smudge, um go over that with black. a new transparent layer that is the same size um but don't do a pasted layer like I did I messed up so I'm adding on a new one that is not pasted then choose about 3.24 on the paintbrush size, and because that's what I choose, but don't do what I did, what I showed right now. Instead, just draw a line on the bottom, like that. Like how you see. But don't draw one on the top. I was messing up. Don't even draw, draw a thinner line and then draw one on the top. You know, I, I started messing up right here. Don't try and do an eye outline like I did. You can if you want, but, you know, if you like tracing, yeah. But I didn't feel like tracing. See, yeah, this is where I tried to do the eye outline. Then I got bored and I stopped being me. Yeah. Well, I didn't get bored, but I just didn't want to do an outline anymore. And I thought of a new idea. You can add blush if you like, but I forgot about that when I was making this video. Now just keep on making new layers, making the lines, cover the eyes up more and more.
so the next layer, you're only going to see the eyelashes. So then you're going to want to draw a curved line following the eyelashes. Like how I'm doing right now. And then go to animation and playback, which will show your animation and watch. I just made up some sound effects. So...